CCHS student staff and visitors. My name is Danica. And my name is Shauna. And, and this, this is live on Camel Drive. Drive. Birthdays Aiden Sealer, Andrew Sealer, John Belmont, Caleb Stansberry, Sarah Lavina, Kaden, Jaden Kimberly, Justin Webb, Devin Barnhart, Karen Thomas Rodriguez, Jordan Mormon, Keaton Kratz, Dakota Lambertson, Lainey Lineman, Stuart Randolph. Announcements. Announcements. Senior Baby Pictures, email to ccjournalism at gmail.com. Early release is on the 22nd. Boys Basketball is on Monday the 21st against Wright. Freshman, 4.30 in Wright. Clubs. Clubs. Rock Band meets every Wednesday from 3.30 to 5 in the band room. Science Club meets every Tuesday and Thursdays at 3.15 to 4.30 in room 329. Student Council meets every Wednesday at 7 a.m. in room 308. Drama Club meets every Tuesday after school from 3.30 to 5. FCCLA Club meets every Wednesday at 3.15. FCA Wednesdays, uh, A Lunch, room 344, B Lunch, room 203. That's, That's all for us, and remember, it's a great day to be a camel. Do you believe in New Year's <laughs> resolutions? Yes. What was one of your favorite resolutions that you've made? To be closer with my family. Have you stuck to any resolution you've made in the past? Yes. What are some of your resolutions you have for 2021? Um, to try and be nicer to my family. Have you accomplished any resolutions from 2020? No. Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? Um, I don't believe that they have like some special value. I mean, I believe in setting a goal and then trying to achieve it next year. What was one of your favorite resolutions that you've made, if you've made any? I mean, there, there was that one to lose weight, but as you can tell, that did not happen. <laughs> have you stuck to any resolution you've made in the past? Um, one of them was to keep straight A's. I mean, I do that pretty well, so... What are some of your resolutions you have for 2021? Uh, lose weight. <laughs> have you accomplished any resolutions from 2020? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have strays, so. Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? No. Why? Because Santa's not real. <laughs> what was one of your favorite resolutions you've made? I just said I don't believe in resolutions. <laughs> Have you stuck to any resolutions you've made in the past? Nope. What are some of your resolutions you have for 2021? I honestly don't believe in New Year's resolutions, but as crazy as this year's been, I've decided to get good grades. Have you accomplished one goal from 2020? No. What do you plan on doing for Christmas break? Uh, I plan on working a lot, making a little bit of money. Uh, and then just stay at home with family. What's your New Year's resolution? Man, I got a lot of them. I think the number one New Year's resolution that I'm going to aim for is turning to school work on time. I've been lazy. <laughs> All right, thank you. Plans for Christmas break? My plans for Christmas break is to hang out with my family. Um, we're gonna have family over for Christmas Eve and then go eat lots of good food. What is your New Year's resolution? Uh, my New Year's resolution is get my coming four-year-old ready for the paternities next year, and um, hopefully he's running in the 1D by the fall. Alright, what's your plans for Christmas break? To hang out with my family and eat food. What's your New Year's resolution? Um, I don't have one. What do you plan on doing for Christmas break? Sleeping in, for sure. What is your New Year's resolution? I'm going back to school, so I'm going to be with all of you guys, and we're all going to get good grades this year. Woo! What do you plan on doing for Christmas break? I'm um, eating a lot of food, and I'm really excited to see my family. What's one of your New Year's resolutions? To pass next semester without uh, scraping by. All right, thank you. Okay, do you like Nickelodeon or Disney better? Disney. 
would be better. I have to say Disney. Better. Nickelodeon, man. You gotta do the SpongeBob. Yeah, man, that SpongeBob's off the chart. I up watching Disney. Um, I don't like either. Disney. What's your favorite Disney song? Favorite? I guess I have to go with the Mandalorian theme song because that's the most recent. Moana. I really like Moana. Kind of all of them. I don't know. I fluctuate. Harry, come home. Oh. Uh, Zoe 101, the intro song to that? The Little Mermaid. The whole, oh, yeah. the whole, undead the, the sea. whole, oh. undead the sea. What's your favorite Nick show? Spongebob. Spongebob. <laughs> right now I'd have to say Mandalorian. Show? Uh, Big Hero 6. I like the new Mandalorian mm. show. I'm watching The Simpsons right now. So. Okay, um, so why is it your favorite? Because there's a sense of humor in The Simpsons. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's it's emotional. It's fun. It's very funny. It's it's just everything. I really like it. This is the way. Just the like Patrick <laughs> run. <laughs> it is the funniest thing ever, especially when they're doing daredevil stunts on cliffs. Just like the randomness of it. It's not like there's no specific plot to it. It's just random stuff all the time. It draws attention. Also, watching SpongeBob try to do karate with his new alarm. So what's it about? Um, it's about this kid who uh, goes through losing his brother and then he finds um, like this robot that his brother was working on and ends up making friends and creating a superhero team with this robot that he found. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. It's about a bounty hunter named okay. Mando. Okay. After all the Star Wars movies are done, takes over. He's trying to get a new little... Yoda, which is now Grogu. That might be something. Okay, thank Home. You. Okay, thank you. Anything else? No. Oh, okay. What's SpongeBob about? <laughs> it's, it's just completely random. It doesn't there's, stay there's on the top line. line to it. There's, there's nothing that is like consistent. It's just random stuff all the time, and you know, it draws attention. Hundred percent true. Thank you. <laughs> no clue. Never watched it. making kid and his father. Okay, so personally, I prefer Cartoon Network just because it has like more freedom for the creators. Nickelodeon and Disney are kind of terrible. They just do the same thing over and over again. Not really that good, honestly. Disney's been kind of lagging recently a lot, like a lot. Same with Nickelodeon. They haven't really made any new things. They've just been playing the same shows over and over again. While Cartoon Network offers a lot more creative freedom and a lot newer shows, especially with the Adult Swim blog, they have a a lot of way better stuff, and adults from especially is super creative. It allows the creators to really do what they want.